Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Coronation Cup group stage game. I am Food Please and I am spectating Dervasal versus Herr Akka. So here we see Herr Akka uh, walking with some pigs and a villager towards the center of the map. Uh, the players have no town center because they are playing on Land Nomad. This is the map that was randomly assigned to them and let's talk a little bit about the players as Haka is ah, placing the town center a tile away from the wood line. Um, so Haka, if you are watching this always place the town center directly onto the wood line here that would be the ideal spot. Um, let's look at Dervazal. He is also building a town center. He's building it directly onto the wood line. I like it a lot. And um, his third villager is still walking because it started very far away. Now, if we look at the map, we can see that the players are very close to each other actually. Uh, and Dervasal has a bit of a better start as his town center is almost up. Well, and Haraka still needs to build a little bit longer. Uh, so Haraka and Darasal are fighting for the third place in their group, in group A. Um, both players have lost to a Splay Buzzer and Food Please. And uh, so let's talk about who is favorite here. Uh, after watching the games of those players, I have to say I must favor Dervazal. Dervazal had a very strong performance against Splaybuzzer, where he almost beat him on Black Forest. Of course, <laughs> uh, Dervazal illegally picked Black Forest, because uh, it's not in the map pool. <laughs> now both players are getting housed. Oh, Akka just finishing his house. And uh, yeah, he Devasal gave Splaybus a difficult time, and uh, I felt like Her Akka was struggling a bit more. So my prediction here would be that Devasal wins this game, and then it all depends on what uh, map Her Akka picks for the second game. Probably I would assume Nomad, and on Nomad, uh, this is the map where Her Akka is best. So. I think Akka might have a good chance of taking a game from Dervasal in the second round. And then in the third game, if Akka is able to win the second game, maybe Dervasal will pick Arena. And um, here I then favor Dervasal. But let's uh, focus on the game now. This is, of course, uh, we don't know who will win this game. Um, so let's fast forward a little bit because. The players have started playing already um, 20 minutes ago, and so we can try to catch up a little bit, as not too much is happening so far. Ah, we can see that um, the pig of Dervazal is scouting uh, and found a house from Herr Akka, so he can assume Herr Akka is somewhere in this area, and immediately Dervazal sends a villager but a bit in the wrong direction. Maybe he should move north now and check if the town center of Heraka is actually there. And Heraka, oh, Heraka also has found Dervasal. So very good scouting from both players already. Um, and now what does Heraka do with this knowledge? Builds a house, a mill here. Very good. So he wants to hunt these ibex. Uh, even with seven villagers, that's a lot. Um, oh, okay, two of them are building a house. And the population is dead even. Both players keeping their town center working. Very strong start. Oh, what? Dervazal has his trademark move, classic Dervazal move, a forward barracks. And he's creating militia and he's stealing some food from the Ibex of Herr Akka. Uh, crazy stuff here uh, what is he doing with this villager maybe use it to fight with the militia yeah so Dervazal now he's running out of gold so 
he has gold directly next to his town center, which he should... What is he doing? Is he trying to... Ah, oh, he's going for villager wars! <laughs> what? Super aggressive plays from their vassal, killing two villagers from her Akka. Uh, still, he's now a villager behind uh, their vassal because uh, probably he had some idle time because of the distraction. But wow, I'm sure her Akka is shaking now uh, as he had to retreat from his mill uh, from this incredible onslaught of their vassal. And already, uh, her Akka is put into this defensive mindset, building a house uh, a bit awkwardly close to his wood line. Maybe he wants to create a wall off in case these militias run in. Mm. And now the villagers of her Akka are idle. He's running out of food. He doesn't dare to venture out anymore. I mean, these are just two militia. He could just uh, run over there, kill them, and then take these Ibex. But maybe Tervasal will now lame them. Because militias can kill deers and ibex, but no, their vassal is moving around, uh, trying to find another spot to hit. And her Akka now placing loads of farms because he just doesn't dare to go out and take some natural food resources. These two militias guarding his base. Um, yeah, I don't like that he is keeping his militias at home. Take them forward and fight their vassal because. These villagers are already safe, thanks to the protection of the town center. Now villager count again is dead even, military count is even, and... Uh, yeah, Akai needs to bring the villagers to the fight. Villagers are stronger than militia actually, so yeah, now he's doing that. Killing uh, the villager and... But uh, the Vasal just moving forward with more villager, look at this. Let's slow down a bit. Mm. And just out of range from the town center. Incredible stuff. What is Dervasal doing? He's advancing to the feudal age now. And he wants to take the stone right outside of her Akka's base. What a disrespect. But it can actually work because her Akka is not advancing to the feudal age. Dervasal has... Taking a boar, very nice. Uh, Akka is also taking a boar, so he should have the food any moment to advance. In fact, if he garrisons now, uh, he can advance to the feudal age. Uh, there was other creating some nice wall offs, and I already like the position of Dervasal. If he places a tower here, his villagers are safe, and he can deny four farms from Her Akka. Uh, crippling his economy. Her Akka doing a good move as well, walking around with some village, with a villager here, finding some pigs, looking for extra resources. And now you can see that Dervasal is building a tower, but it's not protected, it's not walled in. So Her Akka could now just take 10 villagers, maybe 12 villagers, rush it down and attack the villagers of Dervasal. But Her Akka is too peaceful, he's not doing that. Um, and now Dervasal has the time to wall in the tower. Uh, and yeah, I don't like that Her Akka is so passive here. Because this is horrible. Okay, he's killing a villager from Dervasal. That's excellent. But uh, losing the control over the front of his base is uh, horrible. And he might lose some villagers now if he doesn't retreat. Uh, now it's too late. He cannot engage because of the stone walls. Uh, he needs to run, and really he needs to make sure that uh, Dervasal does not also get a tower up on the back of his woodland, which would just end her Akka right away. Uh, very nice move from Dervasal. Shooting even the pigs, ruthless shooting villagers. Her Akka needs to delete these farms and move away, take resources elsewhere, uh, or maybe create... Um, a counter tower right on the edge. Yes, very good. Exactly the perfect spot. So these villagers cannot be reached whilst they build a tower and then Her Akka can try to shoot down Dervasal's tower. That is actually a very good response by Her Akka. Uh, but Her Akka, uh, where is he taking stone? I can't see that. Here, in the north. Good. This, this villager should be microed maybe on this or on this mine because here 
has to walk a long distance but it's all good he's taking stone and is able to defend he's now building a market so he wants to advance to the castle age i believe and Devazal also very good resources just needs a bit more gold building a market as well um doesn't have a blacksmith or a stable or an archery range so he needs another feudal age building uh same though for their vassal um uh, for her Ooh, as another villager goes down for Haka and okay now actually her Aka being eight villagers behind that tower of uh, Der Vassal is devastatingly effective. Now I saw Herr Akka doing the Man at Arms upgrade, but he doesn't have any military, so that's not a very good move. Uh, you should always first create some military before you upgrade it. Ah, and here, uh, Der Vassal just deleting his mining camp and running away. Um, that was a bit of an overreaction. He could still take some stone on this side, but. Yeah, he, he gives up and the counter tower of Herr Akka worked out perfectly, but now another tower of Dervasal is coming in and Herr Akka has no idea because he ha doesn't have the town watch upgrade. So on these messy nomad maps, always get the town uh, watch upgrade as soon as you reach feudal age. Now he sees it, but Dervasal already bringing up the stone walls and this is so great. Uh, Dervasal really has improved his gameplay a lot over the past few weeks. Um, yeah, this, this tower rush is now difficult to stop. Uh, but Herr Aka is trying anyway and placing another counter tower, uh, which might. Yeah, it's probably just out of reach. Maybe once he gets the fletching upgrade, he can reach that tower. Still, there's another two or three farms denied for Herr Aka and. He should just uh, take away this villager, otherwise it will eventually, or might eventually go down to the tower of Devazal. Now, Devazal, another tower, but this one is in range, so if her Akka garrisons... Oh, this is not good. This tower will not go up. Uh, it's too close to the other tower. Yeah, just just go in this tower and shoot the villagers from Devazal, and you can probably deny the tower. I hear a stable going up from her Akka. And Herr Akka has the resources to click up, and Herr Akka clicks up to the castle age, so very, very good. Uh, this tower is just going up, but um, Dervasal lost a few villagers, but still is nine villagers ahead. But the castle age of Herr Akka could uh, allow him to get back in the offensive, as Dervasal is still not clicking up, because he's using all of his resources to build uh villagers and create the man at arms upgrade and he well he's using his resources very well he could still build two more towers with the stone that he has in the bank or maybe repair that one a bit but of course it's awkward because it's in range of the other tower uh should have sent maybe an extra villager or two now he's starting to lose villagers so maybe at this point give up this position it's not worth it to lose so many villagers uh Oh, this is painful. Three villagers going down. Um, but the tower war continues. Now, Devasal should... Uh, yeah, maybe he should not get so fixated on this front position and just take a few villagers, move around and build a tower here, denying the wood line and more farms from Aka. Okay, now, but Devasal is coming in with spearmen. Uh, I'm not sure why spearmen, because he has just done a man at arm upgrades uh, so if he would send some militias uh, or some man at arms they would be much more threatening but the base of Haka is so compact that uh, yeah, even the spearmen or even man at arms can't do too much damage but now Haka is in the castle age so let's see uh, what he can do now he he needs to get some aggression going because all the game he was just defending and if you only defend and never attack you inevitably will lose the game even if you're uh, in castle age and your opponent is in feudal age so i hope that Herr Akka now creates some knights and uh, this tower is horrible it's blocking 
the gold, uh, so he cannot mine it. Uh, okay, but yeah, he just wants to secure his own base. Um, but as he's doing that, just just create a few knights. You you have the resources, and then start to raid Devazal because Devazal has a massive ten village lead, and yeah, now the tower starts shooting down those pesky spearmen. And I hope that her Akka uh, can now relax a bit and think of something else that he can do. Let's look at Dervasal. Dervasal should click up to the castle age now. Um, now he still, okay, he still doesn't have the other building that he needs to advance. So now he has the wood. Just create a stable or a blacksmith. Here we go. And. Uh, prepare for castle age. Um, I guess the Avazal now is worried that knights might come in. So he has some spearmen here. No, he's just bringing them back to his base. But he maybe he should wall in his gold villagers because a single knight from Her Akka could destroy them. Okay, but Her Akka is. Uh, he has enough of this tower rush and he creates a castle. Uh, right in front of his base, which is very good in securing that area. But it's so close to the Vasal's tower that the Vasal can shoot him. And Haaka will lose a few villagers in the process, so Haaka should really take a lot of villagers now and just force up this castle as quickly as possible to not lose more villagers. Here, another one going down. Uh, and, okay, he's at the moment still only seven villagers behind because now their vassal is advancing to castle age and therefore his TC can't create more villagers. Castle is up. Uh, now the base of Haaka is mm, pretty much secured and hopefully now he can go on the offensive to pressure their a bit uh, because their vassal is still very safe and cozy at home. So the Sith of Haaka didn't talk about that, is the Celts, uh, which is an infantry and siege civilization. The the Void Raiders, the Wood Raiders, they would be quite strong. Um, and Dervazal uh, Der is playing as the Magyars, which is a... Ooh, well, this is too many villagers for this walled in stone. <laughs> um, okay, now, yes, Aka is creating Wood Raiders, very good. But Devasal is playing as the Magyars as he reaches Castle Age, which is a um, cavalry civilization. And uh, if Devasal creates knights, they will just shred these wood raiders. So maybe Her Akka should mix in some pikemen. But as of now, Devasal doesn't have a stable. Um, in fact, he's just creating spearmen, and spearmen have no chance against wood raiders. So. Uh, Der Vazal now is suddenly in the worst position and needs to come up with a better strategy. Okay, so Der Vazal wants to boom. He creates a town center in uh, on the edge of the map, uh, far away from the action, and he wants to create a safe uh, economy here. Uh, fun, finding some pigs, finding some gold, some wood. Very nice place to boom. And maybe he can increase his villager lead because... Herr Akka is not moving with his military, so that's something to keep in mind. If you have military, always use it. Never just let it stand around. Um, instead, explore around the map and see uh, if you can find areas to hit. In fact, these farms are very exposed for Devasal, and Herr Akka could just easily raid them, and he even knows about them. Uh, another thing Herr Akka should do now is build a blacksmith and um, upgrade these wood raiders with the defense upgrades especially so they can withstand more arrow fire from town centers and towers. Uh, meanwhile, Devasal still... Oh, what is this? Stronghold research. I don't know what the stronghold upgrade is. Some upgrade that Haaka now did in the castle uh, 
I will have to look it up in the tech tree. And now Herr Akka starts the raids. Very good. Uh, and the result still just booming and creating pikemen because all this time he was expecting knights. And Herr Akka uh, surprised him by creating vote raiders. But without upgrades, these vote raiders cannot withstand town center fire and have to run back. Now, let's see. Well, these pikemen have good upgrades, uh, but still they are weaker than the vote raiders. Uh, let's briefly check the tech tree what the stronghold upgrade is. Uh, castle and towers fire 25% faster. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think that was necessary to create this upgrade now. Okay, the castle of Heraka is even stronger now, but um, I don't think that their result can attack this castle anyway at the moment. So maybe a bit of a waste here. These villagers, where are they going? Blacksmith now for Herr Akka, that's excellent. And I hope he researches some infantry upgrades. Um, so a bit of a low in the action, and let's speed up the game slightly. As we are still not caught up to the live game. Uh, now Herr Akka doing the infantry upgrades, very good. Uh, but Derasal building a defensive castle, but not in the best position. So. Still, the southern side of his base is exposed, and I would have preferred to have that castle here on the hill. Mm. Instead, he builds it on the north and secures this entrance to his back base, which is not too bad either. And, uh, ooh, some fighting here. Herr Akka attacked the villagers from Dervasal and took over that gold. No, he wants the stone. Okay. He wants to build a second castle, uh, which is good. Um, but now that Devazal has a defensive castle, maybe uh, actually both players should think about advancing to Imperial Age and using traps to attack the enemy castles. And here, uh, finally, Devazal is creating something else than just pikemen and Magyar hussars. Oh, but they just melt to the faster firing castle and towers of the Celts with their um, unique upgrade, so maybe it was already worth it, this upgrade. And Dervasal now researching murder holes, so he is worried that uh, an attack under his castle will come in. Uh, but I don't think that Haka is planning such an attack, he's just creating some knights with very weak upgrades still. Mm. This is the problem if you create so many different units, then you can't afford to upgrade all of them. Uh, okay, but interesting. So we have now a mix of pikemen and Magyar hussars for Dervasal as the pikemen of Dervasal get slaughtered by the wood raiders. And now Dervasal is just left with these Magyar hussars, and then the knights of Akka are suddenly very strong because. They have very good melee armor, which the Hussars don't have. And the Hussars hop back into the castle to heal. Um, very nice move from Dervasal here. And in fact, Herr Akka now has the food almost to click up to the Imperial Age, but he's lacking gold. And Dervasal has clicked up to the Imperial Age, but Herr Akka is dropping a castle on uh, the southern side of Dervasal's base, so putting him under pressure. But of course, uh, Dervasal could just trap down all these castles as soon as he hits Imperial Age, so really Akka should advance now as well. Mm. What's going on here? Akka now finally building a second town center. That's a bit late in my opinion. Mm. And let's see. Yeah, here. There, uh, Akka should take his ram and just ram down all of these buildings from Dervasal. Uh, and try to house Dervasal even, or kill his blacksmith and his market. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit passive gameplay still. So, Akka has the better military, but he's not using it, and this gives Dervasal enough time to advance to the Imperial Age, where suddenly he will have a huge advantage. And there will be nothing that Herr Akka can do against the trebuchets. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, long swordsman upgrade now coming in for Dervasal. So almost every game he goes for infantry, and this game is no different. He loves his swordsman, and uh, yeah, they could actually work uh, against the composition of Haaka because Haaka has only a few world raiders and knights, and the swordsmen are not too bad against the world raiders. And the knights of the Celts are not very strong, so I like the choice from Dervasal. But of course, also Dervasal could just go for knights, which would be even stronger than the long swordsman. Mm. Now the Akka is uh, doing some upgrades for his cavalry, queuing a lot of villagers, mm. and still he's not very close to clicking up to the Imperial Age. He has a lot of wood in the bank which he could sell uh, to click up quicker. Chemistry coming in for Dervasal. Not sure what he wants to do with that. He doesn't have ranged units and I don't think the Magyars get uh, onward cannons or hand cannons. Ooh, look at this. A sneaky tower from Herr Akka pressuring Dervasal. Uh, maybe another one here could be excellent, uh, or even here if he can sneak in in the back. Uh, let's see what he can see. He can't see the rams he, of the Vassal, um, but yeah, he's moving around and I think he wants to tower more. So, of course, this is a bit late uh, as the Vassal is already in the Imperial Age and this tower rush should have come in earlier, but it could still do some damage if. Dervasal doesn't notice. Dervasal now going for the Halberdier upgrade, but he's not creating any trebuchets, so this gives her Akka time to catch up. And okay, mm. Dervasal now actually being surrounded by Ooh, Akka, and the Akka doing a very risky move, dropping a castle with only five villagers forward directly on the face of Dervasal and if Her Dervasal would spot that he could just send his military and deny it but Dervasal is focusing on other stuff I imagine. Uh, where is he focusing? Oh he's ramming, I hear some ram sounds. Oh he's ramming the castle uh, of Herakka in the front and Herakka is reacting very late now sending in the knights and the world raiders probably just in time to save the castle and the other castle now going up and suddenly suddenly Dervasal is very cornered but he sends his halberdiers and yeah but the halberdiers are not too great against the road raiders so I believe that Heraka can hold this position <laughs> the Manganel will go down very fast to these hussars uh, yeah, the, the Mangandal is not, not a good choice here. Mm, instead, just create more Wood Raiders. Okay, that was a good shot. And, yeah, uh, Akka not just creating Mangandals, that's a waste of resources. Uh, Mangandals are good against archers, but not good against infantry or cavalry. And the castle. Actually, it's not doing too much. It's um, not reaching any of the important resources of Dervasal, except here this wood line. Um, still some fighting going on here. And yeah, but eventually Dervasal will get the upper hand, I think, because the um, Aka can never push into this castle he doesn't have trebuchets and now uh, his lack of military is really uh, showing Haka is not now he's creating but um, he didn't create anything there for a while and he just has a constant lack of food now here he has 13 idols and these 13 idols should just create 13 farms just build a mill here and create 13 farms because all of what you, everything you need to create now costs food and food is severely lacking. Also here these villages are idle. Just take the boar, build a mill, and 
try to get some resources in. So, despite all this, actually, Haaka now is 11 villages ahead, because uh, Devasal is so cornered, but Devasal now has the better military. So these halberdiers, they shred the knights, and really Haaka needs a lot of road raiders now to fight these halberdiers. And what are these villagers doing for Herr Akka? Uh, it's just repairing the castle. I mean, that's fine, but it's a bit overkill. These are 13, <laughs> these are the 13 idle villagers now. And instead of working, they are just repairing the castle. Mm. Yeah, some fighting here. Mm. Oh, okay, so Herr Akka takes this boar, but uh, he needs a mill. Yes, building a mill here. Very, very good. And, yeah, the second town center of Akka is really paying off with um, just out-booming Dervasal now. Dervasal, of course, uh, has two town centers as well, but yeah, no space to expand to. Maybe Dervasal should think about running out here in the north. Because uh, in the south, he is very much surrounded. And now another tower for Herr Akka. I like it a lot. Very close game, I have to say. I'm very impressed with the gameplay. Mm. And surprised as well that Herr Akka is really giving Dervasal uh, a brutal challenge. Uh, because, yeah, I, I thought uh, Dervasal would have more of an advantage in this matchup. Mm. But now Dervasal is doing a great move. He is raiding with hussars and these villages go down immediately and uh, if they now move around the map and just find all these <laughs> idle villagers from Herr Akka, uh, they can do a massacre in fact uh, the half of the economy of Herr Akka is idle now so that explains why he is not getting in many resources and you look at the queue of Devasal he's just constantly producing halberdiers and yes, halberdiers are not good against boat raiders, but if Akka doesn't produce, it doesn't matter, right? If, if uh, ha Devasal has uh, 30 halberdiers and Akka has nothing, even halberdiers will be good enough. Uh, okay, Akka fixing his idols now, creating farms, very good. Now he has the food, but he's now lacking the gold, so he has a gold in the north uh, that he can't see. He needs to explore more. In fact, yeah, he has sees this gold and this gold and this gold. Yeah, he's he's moving more on gold. That's very good. Um, still, I believe that Devasal should win this game if he just creates trebuchets. But now the raids coming in and uh, Her Akka is a bit slow to react, giving Devasal the chance to pick up pick off a lot of villagers. Yeah, so Devasal. Eversal, if you are watching this recording, you need to create trebuchets. This is the strongest unit in the Imperial Age, and it gives you such an advantage. Uh, if you had three or four trebuchets now attacking the castles of Heaka, then you would have already won this game. Uh, instead, just creating halberdiers is not using uh, your technology advantage to your fullest. Uh, but yeah, again, I like the raids, and uh, yeah, Heaka is uh, not able to react in time, and uh, now <laughs> Dervasal has run out with three villages, building a town center. Um, not a good position, because he cannot create farms around this town center. Uh, should have built it more to the wood line, or just walk a bit further and get some, secure some gold somewhere. Mm. Yeah, more raids. Now the villager count is even again, and I think that this game is now flipping in favor of Dervasal as he is getting the elite upgrade for his Hussars, for his Magyar Hussars, and yeah, they will eventually overwhelm Heaka and even just the military numbers. Dervasal has 51 military, and Heaka is only on 16. Um, and these Void Raiders are only a bit stronger than the Halbdiers, but uh, if they are not, not elite, then the sheer mass of Dervasal will be enough. And Dervasal 
microing the hussars, very nice raids here. Mm. And Haka is just falling further and further behind. He, yeah, he has some resources in the bank, but still not enough to click up. Mm. And yeah, he needs to, to think of something to defend from these raids, maybe walls or a defensive castle or some some uh, wood raiders or pikemen because like that uh, this whole economy here has been pretty much destroyed um, and the hussars will just come back for more blood now here's a bit of a standoff um, both players creating rams uh, but the Vassal could upgrade them to capped ram okay he wants to ram down this castle yeah that's a very good move Aka has nothing there to defend. Um, maybe he could pull his villagers to bat it on the ramps or build some vote raiders. But now the hussars come in support of uh, with the rams, and then there is nothing Aka can do to stop his castle from going down. Aka now finally clicked to the imperial age and is moving forward, but he doesn't have enough army here, so. I think that these halberdiers, with sheer numbers, will overwhelm the wood raiders, even though the wood raiders are the better units. Uh, yeah, that's what, exactly what we see here, just more and more halberdiers come in from their vassal, and uh, yeah, Aka, Aka's push is failing, uh, and with that I think it's time for Aka to call the GG, but uh, he's continuing to try and yeah, maybe he thinks in the Imperial Age he can bring back this game, but um, I don't see it. Here still the raids of Der Vassal now killing the entire economy of Herr Akka. Uh, only one villager left, uh, Herr Akka down to 33 villagers. Down to five military, and really, I mean, Terrasal, just create trebuchets and end this game. Or Rams, it was, we'll do it as well. Because um, we, as the viewers, we want to see the second game now, because this first game clearly has been won by Terrasal. I think we can call it here. So let's see how long it will take Terrasal to actually. Finish off her Akka. Her Akka is um, reaching Imperial Age now. And uh, let's see, maybe he remembers to create traps. No, he doesn't have the wood. Well, he just doesn't have any resources because of the constant ratings of their Vassal. Look at this. The Town center even going down, and here that castle will go down. The knights stand no chance against the halberdiers, and yeah, I think all well, these villagers come in to kill the rams. Aka, uh, the vassal needs to get these uh, halberdiers over there. Aka could now attack the rams with the villagers, and now. The Hussars move into Herr Akka's base. Castle is going down. This game is over. Uh, yes, and uh, Herr Akka resigns. And congrats to Der Vassal for taking the first game with a strong performance. Um, although, clearly, both players um, have a lot of. Um, Moves they still have to learn, like trebuchets, are just super important in the Imperial Age. Let's have a look at the military. It's actually in favor of uh, Herr Acker, the kill-death ratio, because he had the better units, the Wood Raiders, but Devasal just had the numbers. And Devasal had a better economy as well. And uh, villager numbers is in favor of Herr Akka and something I didn't notice that Herr Akka has captured a relic, though that's very good. Um, and in the timeline, yes, we can see that uh, 
Herr Acker had actually a lead in um, Castle Age at some point, but the result was able to come back because of his stronger military production. Alright, so thanks for watching. I'm excited to see how this matchup will end if Herr Acker can come back in this series. And um, then with, with the end of this match, we will have the results for Group A and just have to hope that uh, the players of Group B, and uh, specifically Peter Host, finally play their games so we can uh, move on to the semi-finals.